Hello, I'm Fosdia, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Elastic Container Service Top Task Reason to troubleshoot a stopped Amazon ECS task. Let's get started. When an Amazon ECS task stops, the first thing to check for is the stop code. For example, you might see one of the following stop codes. Essential container and task exited. Task failed elastic load balancing health checks. Unhealthy container instance. Task failed container health checks. Service scaling event triggered. You will also see the stopped reason with additional information that you can use to help resolve the issue. To view stopped task errors, use any of the following methods. Amazon ECS console, AWS command line interface, Amazon ECS API, AWS SDKs, Amazon CloudWatch logs. Note that stop tasks appear in the returned results for one hour past their stop time. After that, the stop task details are cleared from ECS console or AWS CLI. Stopped reason one, essential container in task exited. As you can see, I'm already logged in the AWS management console. Let's navigate to the Amazon ECS console. Search ECS in the search bar. On the Amazon ECS homepage, in the navigation pane, choose Cluster. Choose Tasks. Filter desired status to Stopped. Choose the task ID. View the task stop time in UTC and stop code on top of the task console. Scroll down to the container section and then scroll down to the right. View the task stopped status and exit code under the status tab in the container section. This container stopped with docker exit code 0, which means that the command successfully completed and so the container is stopped. Stopped reason 2, task failed ELB health checks. Navigate to Amazon ECS console and choose cluster. Choose service. Select Events tab, look for Stop Task ID, and then select it. View the task stop time in UTC and stop code on top of the task console. Select the Networking tab. Select the Task Security group. Make sure that inbound rule in Task Security group allow traffic from the Load Balancer Security group. Navigate back to Health and Metrics tab in ECS Service and confirm targets are healthy. Select the Events tab, confirm that service has reached a steady state. Note, this scenario runs the task in AWS VPC network mode. Stopped Reason 3 this stopped reason indicates that the security groups attached to your load balancer and container instance or the ECS task elastic network interface for AWS VPC network mode are not configured correctly. It's a best practice to configure different security groups for your load balancer and container instance or task elastic network interface. With this approach, you allow all traffic between your load balancers and container instances or task elastic network interface. You can also set your container instance to accept traffic on the port that's specified for the task. Navigate to the ECS console and choose Cluster. Choose Service. Select the Events tab. Look for Service Event Instance Port that is unhealthy in the target group, target group name, because of reason request timed out. Navigate to the ECS Service Health and Metrics tab. Under the Load Balancer Health, select Target Group Name Protocol. See the registered target status unhealthy. Note, this scenario runs the task in bridge network mode. Select the unhealthy instance ID. This takes you to EC2 Instance Console. Select EC2 Instance Name. Select Security tab. Confirm that the security group that's associated with your container instance allows all ingress traffic on the task host port range from the security group that's associated with your load balancer. Navigate back to Health and Metrics tab in ECS Service and confirm targets are healthy. Select the Events tab, 
confirm that service has reached a steady state. Stop reason 4. Task failed container health checks. You received the error of task failed container health checks when the Amazon ECS containers in your task are using health checks that your service can't pass. Choose ECS service. Select the Tasks tab. Filter desired status to Stopped. Select the Task ID. Look for the Task Stopped reason. Under the Configuration tab, select Task Definition. Select JSON tab. Make sure that you use the correct health check commands and syntax in the container definition. An exit code of zero indicates success and a non-zero exit code indicates failure. Confirm that the health check parameters of interval, timeout, retries, and start period are configured correctly. If your container takes a long time to initiate, then your container can fail the container health check. Set the start period in the advanced container definition parameter. This gives your Amazon ECS container time to bootstrap before any failed health checks are included in the maximum number of retries. Navigate back to service and then select Logs tab. Look for errors coming from application logs. If your Amazon ECS tasks uses the AWS log driver, then check your application logs on Amazon CloudWatch. Stopped reason five. Service scaling event triggered. First, check ECS service. Select the Events tab. Look for service events with ECS service topping the task and then setting the desired count. Select the Configuration and Networking tab. Scroll down to the Auto Scaling section. Select Alarm and open the CloudWatch Low Alarm and High Alarm. In the CloudWatch Alarms console, check the status of both alarms. The service scheduler respects the desired count at all times, but as long as you have active scaling policies and alarms on a service, service autoscaling could change a count that you manually set. Thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>